should brokers be raising the threshold of what they're going to consider to be an agreement so that it's more likely to be more more likely to be true do you follow uh, yeah i follow listen basically there is no such thing as agreement in principle agreements in principle i see I'm for sure you see plenty of places where, you know, online you can apply for an agreement in principle. Some places it's like within a few days kind of thing or 24 hours, that kind of thing, which sounds very enticing. Mm -hmm. And the agreement in principle obviously gives you, should give you the assurance that you're going to get the mortgage based on the information that you provided if you want to go ahead. What's yeah. your thoughts on that? Okay, so agreement in principles or decision in principles is an idea that uh, has come from the UK and the and 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 the us um when i was a broker in the uk i'm talking about 20 years ago now banks you you would get an agreement in principle or a, a dip a, a decision in principle and basically it's a, a piece of paper which is not really worth much but back in those days even back in those days the broker would be have uh, would be able to have access to a lender's lending criteria platform and you, what you would do is you would tap in the basics into the lender's criteria and then the computer would say yeah based on what the information you've generated um in theory you know we would we that's that that is an agreement in principle uh, a decision in principle that only that doesn't exist in spain right. so the banks don't actually say yes here's a piece of paper that says if you bring these Paperwork but, to back this do, up, you'll they, get they, it. I mean, you walk into you walk into one of the banks and you say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," you know, um, and they would offer you a, a simulation. Okay. All right, which is a similar thing, but no actual words going into that. It's just basically, you know, roughly what could I get, and they you get a, a, a simulation. All right. So, that is worthless. That actually doesn't mean anything. So you should not think you have a mortgage approved based on that. Um, so because we've learned this business from the UK and all we're trying to do is just learn, you know, bring in and implement over the years what we, you know, what we've learned from a more advanced market, you know, that's the truth. The UK market is much more, the mortgage market is much more advanced than the Spanish one in terms of uh, how long it's been evolved. So as a business, we, we offer an in-depth agreement in principle and that basically is us so we are the you know our advisors are the uh, the agreement in principle providers the only way you get a firm mortgage offer is once you apply to a bank and the risk departments have actually assessed your 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 case your documentation they've done they've analyzed your risk profile that's the only time where you can trust the fact that you've got the mortgage uh, approved subject to valuation. Obviously, after that, you need to do your valuation. So, yeah, agreement and principles are, are pretty much worthless until you actually physically submit your application into the banks. So would it be accurate to say then that the value, if there is some value to the agreement and principle, is entirely limited to the person offering, uh, giving it to you? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So I could do it. I could offer people agreements in principle. Just do the math. How much do you earn? How much savings do you have? Look at the property. Do the mortgage calculator. Okay, mortgage calculator. Only at least I go. Yeah, <laughs> you'll probably get a mortgage. Is yeah, that, and, that and, that? and 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 it's a problem. It's a problem because yeah, that you know people you know go away and they feel that they you know I've been I've spoken to a broker or I've spoken to a bank and they told me it should it should be all right. But then they go away and then they start making offers on properties thinking they've actually got the money and they haven't. And, uh, and it's a very much a case of buyer beware that so, you need to take this seriously, right? Because um, it's, it, it's not what it's worthless. Okay. Well, th thank you very much for your time and have a great weekend, Mark. And you. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.